Johnson is joining us now. She is a doctor at LDS Hospital, OBGYN, and we're talking about such an important topic, I think, today, because so many of us have a preteen daughter, a barely teenage daughter, and the question is, when do you take them in for their first visit to the gynecologist? I've debated this at my house. Yeah, yeah. What's the answer? That is uh, a little bit of a trick question, for sure. I think that the real answer is going to be individualized. Um, there's a lot of overlap right now in the care from a pediatrician and going and transitioning into a gynecologist. Um, and there's also been a lot of changes in when should you get that first pap smear. And well, so, so many of us think, okay, they're going into a new grade, let's schedule that doctor checkup. Mm -hmm. At Is it eighth grade, is it ninth grade? When should, should you start saying, all right, right, no more with the pediatrician? Right, I think that is something, and, and this may depend also on your um, relationship with your pediatrician. If um, if that is a good relationship, they probably know your your daughter well and can help in deciding when that's the right time. I think that if there are certain questions and specific issues that need to be addressed, this may be anything from menstrual cycles that are not well controlled and causing issues um, to just needing better forms of contraception. What happens if you are under the age of 21 during that first exam? Mm -hmm. I think that this, uh, this is a great question. I'm actually glad that you um, asked this. I think that there is traditionally a lot of anxiety over that first visit with your gynecologist. Um, to be honest, my, one of the first things I say to my patients, especially my young ones, or the ones that I'm seeing for the very first time, is that my goal is that you leave here saying that really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Well, even adult women have that yeah. anxiety, <laughs> Very right? True. So you think about being 14, 15, and 16, and imagine, Very imagine true. it. Um, you true. don't do an internal exam most, at that age. I would say um, most of the times that is an internal exam is actually not really needed or required at that time. And so I think um, yeah, in preparing or um, coming upon that visit and how, how you're going to address it, um, I would say that was that's something that should should be brought up. And if, if um, if anything, less certainly should be less of a concern. All right, so how do you talk to your daughter about what is going to happen? I know there are, there are three points uh, that you say, first of all, this is going to be informational, right? Oh, yes, yes. Um, I think the, that first visit for me, um, meeting with either younger adolescents or just a young woman with coming in for the first time, is me, me getting to know her. I just right. want to know about her health history. I want to know any questions that she may have. And, and this also serves as a venue for some some questions that children may not quite feel comfortable discussing with their parents mm -hmm. so and i get that mm -hmm. like you're someone <laughs> they could discuss that with instead also prevention is mentioned definitely at definitely. this age definitely um health care or health maintenance health um uh, preventative uh, measures um including the pap smear are are things that can easily be addressed um i think birth control contraception and that's going to depend upon you know, each individual um, young woman when, when that actually um, happens. But, but those, um, those main things, um, HPV vaccination, pap smears are now only required at the age of 21 at the earliest. Um, I think those reasons have, you know, made it a little bit difficult to, to determine when to come in, but can also be addressed by both your gynecologist as well as your pediatrician. Should mom <laughs> go in or should you let this be a moment without mom? Um, that I what would do you think? You know, I think that it should be up to the daughter. It should be up to the young woman. Okay. I think that I, I see a lot of patients who come in with their mom, um, and she may be there just for the initial meeting, and then maybe they've discussed it beforehand what they would like to do, what the what the patient would feel most comfortable with, whether the mom leaves for the exam part or stays there by her side the whole time. It is completely up to them, and I'm I'm comfortable. You know, as a doctor with either Either option. way, I feel like my daughter would be comfortable with Dr. Hansen. You're amazing. <laughs> LDS Hospital's website is on your screen. They can answer so many of these questions. I know you have a women's center there that's mm -hmm. incredible. Go to our website, and we will link you to all of the information. Goodforutah.com slash TTU. Dr. Hansen, thank you my pleasure. so much. We may be seeing you here <laughs> in a little bit. All right.